All right. So this is my first video for audio for filmmakers. And let me show you what we're going to do right now. That is maybe about 20% of my job. So I was uh, recording an interview and I, since I don't have access to a soundproof studio, um, we heard sirens there. That is maybe about 20% of my job. Now, the thing is, I'm not even, this software is so amazing. And I just, I just purchased the software. I'm not even an expert or anything. And just take a look at how easily you can get rid of uh, this noise. Okay. So this little bar here shows you the uh, sound both in waveform and in a, as a picture, right? So as a kind of like a picture of the frequencies of the sound. And you can tell it's the frequencies because just look at this little thing. You know, this goes up and down as the... Um, uh, sirens go up and down. So watch this. Just watch this line right here as you hear the sirens. That is maybe about 20% of my job. So this uh, graph represents the frequency. So now how do we get this sound out of this little piece here? So here's how we do it. So... Uh, there is, first of all, let's go magnify this thing here. I think we have a, oh yeah, you can magnify this way also. But, um, okay, so it's magnified. So this is the offending line right here. So the tool we're going to use is this paintbrush that allows me to isolate this. Okay, what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna go over here because there's some other sound here. So let's uh, try this again. Okay. I go up to here and let's say attenuate about let's say about two point let's say about three and let's not say horizontal let's say vertical all right so process let's see how this sounds there's still some sound okay so now it's probably right here So let's do that again. So if we come here. So if we come here. So let's we come here and listen to this. There's going to be siren here. There's going to be no siren here. That. Right? So we're not interested in this siren. We're interested in this part. So let's say we just want to get rid of the siren as he talks. So. And I'm magnifying this or demagnifying this just by uh, uh, with my mouse wheel here. That is... So let's go back here. So I don't want to get rid of this, these frequencies right here. I'm going to start again clearing things out right about here. So let's go to here. I mean, this is not really a tutorial. I'm just amazed at the software. And I just wanted to show you guys how this is done so easily by a complete novice who has just been at this for about a week. 
So let's go back to the paintbrush. And if you want to add some more, just hit Shift. You can hit Alt to get rid of something, just like in Photoshop, I guess. So let's come over here. Let's attenuate here again vertically. So by vertically, what it means is it's looking to replace this by frequencies surrounding it. So it's going to look for the surrounding frequencies vertically. It's going to look around here and replace this particular noise with other stuff here. So let's do it. So let's see how it sounds. That is maybe... That's, that's just gone. Like, if I do Control-Z... That is maybe... And then... Do it again. Is maybe. And that is ridiculous. That is ridiculously good. I mean, this software does cost money. Uh, <laughs> I just spent quite a bit. So you, you don't have this. Uh, there are two types of uh, Isotope RX4 you can purchase. Uh, one is the regular version which costs about 400, 350 bucks or something like that, I think. And uh, there is the other version, which is costs about a thousand bucks, which is the advanced version, which is this version. But for a filmmaker, you know, spending thousands of dollars on gear and then has a film that has terrible audio and that cannot be shown in any decent setting because the audio is terrible. I mean, this software is just amazing. E about again it starts. So we're gonna get rid again. So let's try this again here. Let's see how this is done. So I don't want to destroy this part. I want to get rid of this part. I don't want to touch this part. But I want to start right about here somewhere again and get rid of this other stuff. So paintbrush. So now the key is actually to listen to the audio while you're looking at this um, at this image and trying to figure out what part of this image is the offending part, right? So that is really the key. And I guess if somebody's an expert, yep. then they have done this for so many years that they can take a look at an image and they immediately, immediately know what the offending parts are. Like for me, I, had, I didn't know. I had to keep looking and figuring out, okay, how, what do I get rid of? What do I get rid of, right? So now we're gonna get rid of all of this stuff. We're gonna get rid of this. And this stuff over here too, like this seems to be part of the offensive noise. So, again, let's try this. I guess I can get rid of this too. Okay. Let's try this again. Process. Out. That is just unbelievable. I mean, you could do it a little bit more again, I guess. Out. That is crazy. All right, so let's look at this whole thing, right? So from where it began 
before? That is maybe about... Is that crazy or is that crazy? So we start from here. So far we've only used this much and then there's more stuff here. So let's take a look again here. That is maybe about 20% of my Starts job. again. So we can uh, do the same thing again. 20. Right? So we can do the same thing again here. And that's going to be gone too. But this is just amazing. That is it's maybe worth every about penny of a thousand bucks. 20. All right. So I'm not going to, I mean, there's no point in doing this whole thing anymore. But I mean, I just wanted to show you guys how it's possible to do it. And you don't even change. I mean, you're not even affecting his voice. Uh, in some software I've used before, I mean, if I got rid of, like even in Adobe Audition, if I got rid of uh, certain things, it's difficult to attenuate as effectively. You would also affect um, other sounds, uh, and they would, and you could hear the differences. Here. I mean, it's just amazing. I can't tell that any difference. That is maybe about 20 So this is, my job. this is this is just... Uh, uh, that's an important part, part of my that job. deals with um, this, uh, the attenuation of the spectral repair. There's so many other things here. The denoiser is just so fantastic. It's got this uh, dialogue denoiser and, you know, you can just listen to it. That is maybe about... And he can bypass... 20% of my... I mean, it's just... Anyway, I'm going to be uh, making a few more videos on this, and I'll show you the denoiser in a separate video. Uh, and hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video. Cheers.